Okay. Greetings, Zogling Winger and Mazaras Clouds uh, across the front of uh, Zog Flag here in the open air Coast Coast Nut House. We call Zog Babylon third and final. But this message is mainly to you Missouri Zoglings, and especially the Newton County Zoglings. I want to go ahead and reflect on today's selection. I voted for this, I voted for this line Jew Boy Scumbag, you know what I mean? You know, Eric Grimes. And some of the things that oh he's horrible and all that here, and I point out is that he still did he still did get here. What surprised me is that a policeman voted for him. A Billy Long got quite a few votes. More than Becky Harson, but Billy you know, Zog by Silly Long here's the Southern District Congress crew. Another idiot. Another idiot who wanted to be a U.S. Senator and got tired of being a Congress critter, you know, and so he's going to have plenty of time to go where he spends most of his time when he's not in Washington, so he won't go to Washington anymore. You know, he'll go to Wins Casino in Las Vegas here and enjoy the prime rib here. You know, just chow down, just chow down, Billy. I mean, hey, the voters of Missouri have spoken and they have given you more time to eat prime rib at Wins Casino. You know, Vicki Trans Chickenhead, she came in second overall in Missouri. And Eric Schick, I mean Schmidt, Schmidt, I'm going to call him Eric Schick because I'm running as a write-in candidate, so now I'm facing Eric Schick. And what, what I point out is that Eric Schick did do fairly good, you know, here in Missouri, but not quite as well because he shut down a few ticket mills in Diamond and Granby a couple of years ago. And some of the scumbags are mad about that. Anyway, though, you know, I mean, you know, the, the appeal for the Greitens voter was a rural maggotard who does not at all trust the Missouri Republican establishment. And that's what it ended up showing here. Uh, Eric Burleson beat Jay Wasson, who was somewhat of, you know, viewed as an establishment country club Republican. You know, for the seventh district, uh, I preferred Mike Moon, but I actually voted for Eric Burleson because I knew Mike, you know, Moon wasn't going to win. So, uh, and besides, he still has a seat as, uh, you know, as a state senator. You know, Eric Burleson actually did go ahead and risk it here. The one I liked the best was Joe Carter. When I went in there, uh, I was going to vote for whoever was against Bill White. Because Bill White is a juvenile lawyer. And so what he's done is he's gone ahead and put a number of white children into the pedophile ring, which is the Missouri Department of Family Services and uh, well, essentially you know, the critters around here. They go ahead and steal white babies from the poor. In my case, they did it against me because I'm a political enemy here of them, and I am, I am. You know, I talked to uh, Kevin Van Story, and he came in third. He beat, you know, essentially Daniel Swim beat uh, Alan Cook. He's still going to be a commissioner. What happens, Alan Cook, this is a Christmas scumbag, and pretty well... He was looked at as part of the establishment, and what happens? He wasted a whole bunch of taxpayers' money on nothing other than him and Bill Rebolt wanted to be in charge. Uh, essentially, have their computer company, you know, work, you know, so they can get kickbacks from them, I guess. You know, as opposed to the ones that the you know, the treasurer, the whatever, and the rest had here. They didn't want, they wanted to go ahead and choose their, you know, uh, the, the one that they trusted here. Uh, and some other stupid things here, like tip district. Uh, I mean, a number of stupid shit here. So, Alan Cook lost to uh, uh, Dave or Daniel Swim. Swim. So he's the new he's he's the new county commissioner. But the biggest thing is that Jill Carter, she's a Granby girl. And I think she's led to most of the Carters. I'm not that crazy about the Carters. 
But I did talk to her daughter, and her daughter's a nice young woman. And pretty much, you know, people ask me, why did Bill White get defeated? Well, he actually was one of the smarter ones, and he was somewhat liberal. And so that one had play. I, I was against him because hey, he's a juvenile, you know, he's a juvenile attorney. You know, so I hate I hate lawyers. Another one was a lawyer here for state auditor and says the politician won. About two to one. But uh, no, uh, he came across as an arrogant asshole in his, in his ads here. I'm a I'm an auditor and an attorney. Well, he should have said that I'm actually an auditor and not talked about being an attorney who didn't show up for votes. So, anyway, I think Jill Carter won in return, you know, return because she has a wonderful family, you know, and she's a local girl, you know, that did well in Granby, you know, and pretty well did well all in New County. And... I don't know how much Bill White did, but she went ahead and pulled ahead by about 53 to 47. And so, bye-bye, Bill White, bye-bye. And, uh, you know, no, she's, you know, she's simply, you know, you, you got you to gotta be a, you got to be an anti-abortion conservative Republican to win. And pretty well she is, but she has, you know, she, you know, she was outspent six to one. And she came across as a nice person who holds deeply Republican values, and that was enough to pull her over. That it was, it was some of a change. A third thing, a third thing is that uh, Joplin was going to go ahead and pass a hundred dollars. You know, should you know, should a dollar of every, you know, of every hundred dollars assessed valuation be assigned? Go ahead and support the pigs and fire pigs and the rest here and what they did is they used these uh three pigs shot two pigs killed uh by this crackhead named anthony felix and i you know, i mean i hate pigs i got five teeth knocked out by pigs now, i mean I, i'd probably kill every single goddamn pig you know unless you know they went ahead and turned on the other pigs uh i just hate them and anyway uh, there was a pig from Joplin and his wife, the sheep pig, and they were just looking miserable. So I said, who are you? Oh, you know, I'm not going to be on your side here. What happens is that we're here to report to pig headquarters about the, you know, some of Joplin is in Newton County. We're going to go ahead and report Know, as to how the thing is doing in the county, and it failed in Jasper County too. And the reason was, is a one whole dollar per hundred dollars assessed valuation. The current assessed valuation is, you know, essentially is three dollars and eighty-three cents here per hundred dollars. Well, guess what? They were going to add a whole full dollar. So that would raise everybody's tax bill by at least property tax bill by at least. 25%. So if you're into paying a thousand dollars, you know, in property taxes, you are, you know, which is essentially not that much, you know, for a hundred thousand dollar home, you're going to go ahead and pay another what, two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. If you take out two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars, at least two hundred dollars average. That's two hundred dollars you're not going to have. So guess what? Pigs or no pigs, they went bye bye. But what happens is that that pig, you know, I said, well, yeah, I went ahead and looked at the uh, video. Essentially, you know, the, the you know the police messed with the wrong homeless crackhead. Ah! So I went ahead and ran to the other policeman here who holds interesting ideas. And we're somewhat trying to get me shaken down or whatever here. So pigs are called pigs for a reason. Pigs are pigs. You'll go ahead and you know, you know, give slop to a uh, piggy here. He's likely to go ahead and turn and rend you. So they lost me quite a bit. I hope it's in there two years before they try to go ahead and pull this shit again. 
but people just couldn't afford it. It was not like 2020 when I and you know, pretty well people did it. The school bonds were, you know, uh, sales tax for pigs or something like that, and they couldn't raise sales tax anymore. It's about nine or ten percent now. And so, you know, when there's you know, the business will go outside the job on there, so there's a property tax. So I think the pig should be paid for by property taxes. But no, I mean these. You know, I mean, you know, Piggy was mad. Piggy was pissed off. You know, his wife. You know, just like she, Piggy, the wife, cook roll. Oh, please! They ran to it. No, Piggy kept on dicking with homeless crackhead who had a gun and who didn't want to go to prison for five to ten years. So homeless crackhead had one hell of a shooting ability for a homeless crackhead who probably didn't get to practice very much. Too bad, Piggy. I'll go ahead and put the thing up. I'll go ahead and put the thing up here. I, I, I think that they didn't go ahead and show the full video of the, of, the, you know, of the complete harassment. Didn't want to show it, you know, but Piggy got, you know, Piggy got his. So now they want to get more and they didn't get it. So anyway, uh, I'm somewhat, you know, satisfied here. Uh, Kevin Van Story, you know, uh, he actually went to uh, Washington, D.C. on January 6th here. He's been harassed by the FBI, but he didn't go in. And I think he would have been somewhat better, but he didn't have anything bad to say about Daniel Schwemm. So, there needs to be some of a change. Uh, I'll go ahead and work on the Brian Real stuff and the rest of South Dakota, but no, the system, you have a, you're having a late solid age collapse. In any case, uh, I did something in the, uh, did, I did a YouTube video, I'll go ahead and finish this off and get it up here. But, yeah, I'm, so, I'm somewhat more surprised than average. I think your average Zoglin is understanding that there needs to be somewhat of a change. And so what they're doing is that they're taking they're taking the more rational <laughs> the more rational of the MAGA truck tar agenda and they are supporting rational sounding candidates. And pretty well, Daniel Swim didn't make a big deal about what he was going to do. He just made the point that he wasn't Alan Cook, you know, the current commissioner who simply wasted a bunch of taxpayer money. And he was, you know, and he wasn't. You know, I don't think he talked much about Rick McCauley. Rick McCauley essentially is a scumbag. You know what I mean? He got in for there. I think. He used to be mayor of Grand Bay, and he came close to winning for signing a commissioner's office here, but he's not going to amount to anything. He's just wasting his money. I think, he, I think he figured that out. So, anyway, uh, and I'm glad that Jill Carter uh, won. I mean, uh, and she had a really, she had a really nice, well-spoken daughter. You know what I mean? Really nice, really nice young woman. And pretty well, I, I've seen her in the family. And, they seem like good people. So anyway, and Dale White just simply, just simply struck people as arrogant. He knows more than them, and he lost. So you end up having a nice person who holds the same values as most of the population, 80, 90 percent of the population of Newton County. And pretty well, you know, pretty well the rest of the district, and so she won. And she's a local girl from Grandview. Anyway, uh, this is Pastor Mark Lindstead. I will put some more stuff up. Uh, I'll probably put some of the, you know, campaign essentially, though, to really screw over Eric shit. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, Lawyer Admiral uh, of Missouri. Uh, you know, I think he's a scumbag myself. Yeah. You know? And just like I said, is that people, 
the people who voted for Eric Greitens. They think that all politicians, including the Zog Emperor, is a scumbag and a pussy grabber and all this sort of thing. They, 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 think, they think that you know, all politicians are scumbags. Well, except someone like Jill Carter or something like that, but they think pretty well they're all scumbags. You know, the thing about it is, is that if you're a, you know, if you're a caught scumbag, a self-admitted scumbag, who admits he screwed up and he's going to change. He's going to change and essentially he is more maga he's super magatard like Eric Crichton's here. You know, I mean, I'd been with twins for vote for a Jew. But <laughs> and Eric Schmidt is in trouble because guess what? The uh, rhino tards are going to vote for this here fat republican that Jack Danforth came up with. So guess what? The Beer Harris, you know, the Beer Harris, you know, Trudy Bush or something like that. Oh, I've been so bad. I've got pussy. And yes, I'm rich. And oh, vote for me. You know, with about 38 percent, if the Republican, if the Republican vote is split between scumbag Eric Schmidt and shit, you know, who is it all together for real and Jack Danforth's Rhino Tard. Beer Harris might win. So anyway, oh by the way, I, I see Nicky Myers, you know, the Newton County. Oh, another guy is that name Major, and he's been arrested. He's been arrested here, you know, but he went ahead and got Arthur. And you know, like I point out is that he got, you know, arrested or arraigned by Jerry Hornback, who essentially is a Republican guard for Nicky Myers. And Nicky Myers is looking old and faded out. And I did, I did talk to uh, uh, people went ahead and read my this morning. I went ahead and posted uh, Mad Dog's pick of the Republican pricks. You know what I mean? And that's for Jill Carter. And I pretty well, I really liked, I really liked Patty Kruger. Because she did, what she did is, on September 15, 2004, you know, this evil monster, Kevin Lee Selby, who went ahead and had my grandchildren taken away and bought sold, and later on, poor Bob got his asshole stretched. So, wouldn't allow a lawyer, wouldn't allow a lawyer that I hired to, you know, on behalf of Roxy to get him back. So, what, you know, and, and they would have given, you know, they would have given it, they would have given the grandkids to Roxy if Roxy, if Roxy would have gone ahead and kicked me out. And I did ask her, well, do you want me to leave? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing from the lawyer that if I go to South Dakota, you'll get the kids, you know, all four of them. She wanted Helen and Bob, the oldest two here. Well, she didn't know what she'd do about J.J., but she wanted Henry, too, here, so J.J. would come in, too, with him here. You know, I mean, fat old woman here with four, with four, you know, four, you know, children here. I mean, hey, you know, you have two or three here. You know, I know what, you know, I mean, you got to be a young woman here. If you're going to have three or four children, you got to have to be a young woman here and still have plenty of them. You know, push to not only, you know, conceive of them and squeeze them out, but to go ahead and ride hurt on them here. You know what I mean? And Roxy was not a young, you know, she was an old fat, but she was becoming an old fat woman here. And they would have probably given it to her. But no, I mean, the kids were taken because, hey, I'm there. I, 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 had, I had a great deal of like here looking for... You know, Newton County Republican Chairman Nicky Myers, I mean, good Lord, he looks like he's drawn out here. And I asked him, I asked him how old he was, and I asked him, I went ahead and asked him, uh, what are you going to do if Eric Greitens wins here? He didn't answer that question either here. I mean, it's just shit the brick here. So they, they went ahead and stuck at the uh, Newton County Recorder's office where you, know, you, have, you have factions here, you know what I mean? So, you know, the Christian scumbags, you know, you know Ben Baker and the rest, don't feel comfortable around Nikki. 
but he's been their chairman for the past 30 years or so. And old Mickey is not doing too good. I'm glad to see him. So anyway, uh, this is my uh, this is my initial impressions. I'm not going to put too many sun on. Anyway, talk to you later. Pastor Martin, Mad Dog, uh, The Conqueror, Half Beard, Lindstead, writing candidate for United States Senator here, saying, "Hail victory." The open, the open Nazi Aryan nations can't uh, I'm in better health than most of them, but shit, I still have a bad hip. Ah.